Oh, this is crazy. She actually really intimidated me my first time on set because she plays this kind of like bitchy, manipulative type girl, which is really not in real life. But, you know, she's in character when I first meet her on set. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like I have to put up with this one over here for quite some time. I was actually pretty nervous. But then I got to know her, and actually, she's one of my best friends now. And it was pretty yeah, fun. We call this our anniversary because, like Mark said, we were here two years ago, and Madison and I met on the show. Um, and we played best friends, but we just met and we got to know each other, and now we are best friends. So it's our anniversary. Yay! <laughs> but I actually want to say something. Um, we actually pat our cross paths auditioning too, and Madison was the one person that stood out to me in callbacks because she was in these really cute cowboy boots and this short skirt, and I was like, shoot, I'm losing the ball to her. No way. As a special thank you for not being in the Firefly panel and coming to our panel, <laughs> I will give you the first chance to win something today. It's the Nathan Fillion issue of Geek magazine. So this is for not going to the Firefly panel. So uh, let's... Uh... Yeah, it was really... Did you? It really actually... At first, I think for me, it was just a So, for a femme fatale soundtrack and a Nathan Fillion issue of Geek, wow. name three movies that starred Jeff Fahey. Machete. Machete. It's like you, you grow with her and you learn more about her. And when they show up with a different character, you're like, wow, it, it brings the whole world together. Like it's its own magical world of Cuesta Verdes, which is very, very cool. And um, for my character coming up with them, um, the ideas of how to kill some people and um, being the brains behind the operation. It's fun to help out my fellow sisters out there. Which and brings us to our next question. Cuesta Verde is the town where Femme Fatales takes place. The seedy, sinister hub. It's sort of like Sunnydale, except uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> there, there are no slayers. But um, uh, Cuesta Verde is an homage to a movie from 1982 where the, the name Cuesta Verde is taken from. What is the movie that Cuesta Verde, I could say, is stolen from, is paid homage to? Uh, Ooh, Cuesta Verde. Where does Blue it come Velvet? From? What? Blue Velvet? Not, that's a good guess. It's not Blue Velvet, but that's a really good guess. 1982 movie, um, I'll give you a hint. It's a 1982 movie that was not directed by Steven Spielberg, supposedly. Paul Poltergeist. Yes, Poltergeist. You said Poltergeist first. Okay. You get a soundtrack in a magazine. Oh, I think yeah. you're a big comic book fan. So. Yeah, I'm a huge comic book fan, so obviously Libra would have been, you know, my, my ideal role. Um, or to be maybe, you know, in, involved. You asked earlier if we'd like how we'd like to see our characters come back. I'd like to see my my characters in jail, but maybe with the Whichever help of the dirty DA, yeah. maybe she can get me out and we can team up against Libra. Um, I'll help. In our, in our own super, <laughs> yeah, super villain costume. So, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I've always. I, my One of my dream roles is to be uh, a, a superhero in, in, a, in a Marvel movie. Yeah, Libra was our, our season finale, and, and one of the big. Um, you know, we were up against the Olympics. <laughs> you know, so it was like, oh, great. <laughs> But um, it will be on the DVD, and we're actually going to have two versions when season two comes out. We have the U.S. version, and then also the international version, which is a two-parter, which has a bunch of footage that's not in uh, the U.S. version, which is just an example of some of the really cool stuff that's going to be on the, the DVD. And then um, there's extra, there's commentary on both versions. And Jen joined us for the international version, and uh, I think that's the fun because you know. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Blu-ray and DVD, and so I really wanted this DVD to be something special. And thankfully, uh, you know, E1 felt the same way, and uh, we have a really great package of stuff. So 
like I said, if you're a fan, it's going to be cool. And if you've never seen the show, it's still going to be cool. And uh, let's take another quick look at uh, a little bonus feature from uh, Femme Fatales. And then we'll do some more giveaways and some questions and some photos and stuff. Nice. So let's take a quick look at uh, yeah.